What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. This is another haircut tutorial. Uh, we'll be doing a Giannis uh, type haircut. Uh, if you don't know who that is, it's an NBA player that plays for the Milwaukee Bucks who are still in the playoff contention right now. So we will be doing a hairstyle uh, sort of like that. It's going to be like a small fro, but using the curl sponge at the end to get the uh, that type of look that Giannis has himself. So stay tuned, stay locked in. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, uh, turn on those post notifications, smash that like button. It gets the channel a lot more exposure and I would just greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're on the cusp of 1500 right now. If we have not surpassed it by the time I upload this, uh, we are on the road to 2K. At 2K, I will be doing a 245 Power Mac giveaway, so stay tuned for that too. A lot more videos coming, uh, some product reviews, more haircut tutorials. So just stay locked in. Once again, I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. Let's get straight to the haircut. Look, I just flipped the switch. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are gonna, we are gonna be doing something completely different than usual. Uh, different hair texture, different hairstyle, uh, different you know techniques to use and add to your arsenal. So first off, we're just gonna get it started by using a hair mister to get the hair moisturized. Uh, you don't wanna use a water, water spray, like a high pressure water spray uh, for this texture of hair because we're not trying to drench the hair. We just wanna give it enough saturation to where we can pick it out nice and easy and uh, get those tangles out of the haircut. And the reason why we're doing that and picking everything out is because we wanna see what we're fading into. We wanna see what we're freehand shaping. And we will get to that later on in the video, but we're just laying down the groundwork, the foundation, uh, before we get started with our clipper work. So that's what we're doing here is just prepping the hair, getting it ready for the haircut. Um, First of all, uh, shout out to my client for allowing me to film this haircut. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And uh, right now we're getting the hair direction directionalized so we can make our first uh, bald line. We're going to make our bald line using our wall cordless seniors. Now for this hair texture, I don't uh, use a trimmer. I mean, because uh, this hair texture cuts pretty, pretty easily. So we could just use our zero gapped um cordless clippers or whatever clippers you have you know mine are zero gapped in particular if you want to get it closer and your clippers aren't zero gapped then you can whip out the trimmer but for this case you know i'm using a zero gapped uh, blade so making that first bald line and um you could see i had transitioned the uh, the strings on the mask and wrapped them around the ear earlier just to get uh, closer around that sideburn area and then after i got that area around the ear and the sideburn area i flipped it back around that just helps me out to get that hair uh, cut around that area now we have the lever open <clears throat> excuse me we have the lever open and we're going to make our first panel of hair that we're going to fade into now we want to keep this this fade pretty tight and so we're not going to make extremely large uh, guidelines or panels of hair to fade so like i said just uh, maybe half an inch of a of your lever open is that what you was what you're making your panel of hair with and after you do that close the lever slightly open it and we're going to get into that lever play with no guard just working that uh, lever and opening it slightly fading up opening slightly fading up now you want to make sure that with fades you want to make sure that you're using your comb or your brush to make sure you're putting that hair and laying it back down where it needs to be now we have that one guard on there lever closed and we're going to make another panel of hair to fade into and you can see me using that comb to make sure that we have the hair um, combing the hair back down where it needs to lay so that we can get all the hair evenly cut that is a, a crucial thing because sometimes if you don't comb the hair or brush the hair you're really not going to see what you're fading also with combing and brushing the hair you're getting all the old hair that was chopped off you know out of the way and you're making sure that you can see your canvas making sure you can see what you're doing now after we do that we have the half guard is what we reverted to and we're going to go ahead and do a lever play with that half guard open the lever slightly fade up open the lever slightly fade up and so forth now if you just maintain these these uh, steps and maintain a process you will get a consistent blurry fade i guarantee it so uh, just find something that suits you find something that works for you and and uh what is the best way for you to be uh what's the word punctual 
and um, you know just be cautious of time management and that's the best advice I could give you is uh, try try different styles try different you know some people fade down some people fade up you know everybody has a different style but right now we have that one and a half guard and as you can see as I cut up I'm I'm pulling off and flicking out and the reason why I'm doing that is because we want to keep a shape to the haircut like a like a blowout so to speak because you don't we don't want it to specifically overhang but it's gonna it's gonna like take a shape outward um, I'm trying to think of not not so much like a mushroom you don't want it to overhang that much you want to make sure that there's a blend to it that it flows so that's what we're doing here and uh, after I do that one and a half uh, lever close we're gonna go ahead and lever play with that one guard is that that's what we have on there right now lever slightly open fading up lever slightly open fading up and as you can see the haircut is coming out nice uh the the fade is uh taking its its shape taking its form we're using that comb to make sure we lay everything back down and we're going against the grain with this fade always now uh this this fade is particularly different because we're using techniques like this right here we're free forming and free shaping with that clipper uh no guard a lever closed and we're just getting you know just slightly trimming whatever is hanging off and just shaping that that uh hair using our clipper alone no guard no comb just just your hand your steady hand and the clipper itself now this takes a lot of practice because you do not want to you know patch somebody or you don't want to go too deep into the haircut you want to make sure that you have a steady hand and uh and doing this as well you know i had to learn how to use you know my opposite hand you have to you have to learn how to use your left hand and um that is something you want to work on and make sure that you can be ambidextrous to an extent you know that'll help you out in barbering a lot so as you can see here i'm free shaping the front as well and the reason why i'm free shaping the front is because i want to be able to see that front edge up underneath that all that hair right there and right now i'm only doing the side free shaping and we'll get to the top eventually after we get both the fades uh done on the left side and the right side so well i'm i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and commentate the entire right side the left side i did uh time lapse and then uh so right here we're gonna go ahead and attack that vertical bar in the c cup area i'm not gonna attack the edge up just yet until we get both the fades done as well so you can see here just taking my time paying attention to details brushing that hair where it needs to lay and just making sure everything is nice and crispy making sure everything flows together and that's that that is something that's crucial is you want a haircut to flow you don't want you know something to be you know overworked you don't want something to be look unnatural so make sure you're, you're paying attention to to different things like that little details are what will separate you from the barber you know next to you from the barber down the street or from the barber you know across town um, and that is something that you know a lot of clients will realize and see so the biggest thing you got to do is just you know maintain a process make sure you're staying consistent and uh, just look out for your clients customer service is top priority in this field people will go to a barber who will give them a bad haircut as long as the customer service is on point so always keep that in consideration and so if you're putting out blurry work and you have great customer service you know you're going to kill the game so right here we're taking that uh att we're attacking the edge up portion of this haircut i sprayed a little hair spritz on the front of the edge up so that way we can get this uh nice and crispy uh that hair spritz will harden the hair make sure that it stays in place basically freeze the hair where it's at and then we can attack that edge up now the uh the clippers I'm using for the edge up are going to be the Andes Slimline Pro Allies, and these are zero gapped as well. So, as you can see here, work my way from the outside to the middle of the head, and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side as well. You want to make sure that you're just uh, paying attention to little details, making sure that you get everything nice and straight. Um, take your time, you know. Uh, I don't know how long you guys schedule your appointments for, but right now, uh, during this COVID-19 and coronavirus stuff, I've been scheduling my appointments for an hour. It gives me time to do the haircut, take time, detail, and also to, you know, properly clean and sanitize everything, make sure that everything's cope aesthetic for the next client. So right here, we're back to the edge of portion on the opposite side, taking our time making sure everything is nice and crispy like i said you can see that fade is transitioning very well you can see the free hand shaping we did it all flows together nothing looks out of place um the hair on the top is a little bit messed up because we have not you know uh, shaped it fully yet so you can see that it's not even 
but we will get to that point. Right now I'm using the uh, 245 triple cartridge razor. This is the exposed cartridge that I'm using, and uh, that is the one that I, I preferably like the most, uh, be able to see the blade and to see what I'm, I'm cutting. Now, on all my haircuts, I do take my shaver to the C-cut portion like this. Uh, to me, it just helps me shape that area a, a little bit more than just a razor and sometimes people's stubble is really stubborn you know you could fade against the grain uh, with the grain and still see a lot of shadow but the shaver that and the shaver or whatever shaver you use they they really knock out all that stubble get that like grayish dark green or light green area out of way out of the way where that shadow was from where the hair stubble is at so now you can see we're attacking the uh the free shaping area of the top of the head and you can see what hair is coming off now just like when you're cutting with shears you want to make a traveling guideline so you can see i started from the center of the hair and i made my first pass with the clipper freehanding and then i make i work my way to the side now what now by doing that i have a guideline at the center where i made my first cut using the uh the free shaping technique and i'm going to mirror that all the way to the side from this from the center to the side it's all you're going to make sure you have that guideline so you know how much to cut off and you can see what you're doing now right here we're attacking the back portion and making sure we get that nice round shape now you want to make sure that you um, are taking your time keeping steady because you don't want to patch you know any portion of the haircut you don't want to go shorter than you have to and now like i said you want to be ambidextrous to a point uh, with barbering so right now i have the left hand and i'm using my left hand to free shape so this takes a lot of steady work a lot of practice so uh, just make sure you're putting in the reps make sure you're putting in the time to learn about your craft and to make yourself better every day you know um you don't want to be a mediocre barber or somebody who is just, you know, lax and not trying to learn new techniques, not trying to learn new styles. So make sure that you add every, you know, hair texture to your arsenal, because the more you add to your arsenal, the more clientele you'll get, the more different clients you'll get, you know, rich, you know, not so rich, middle class, high class, low class, whatever. You want to make sure that you know everything you can about hair, because that just open up the door to so many opportunities in barbering so now that we got the freehand portion done i'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a little hair spritz all over you don't want to oversaturate the hair you want to give it just enough hair spritz and this is going to give it a hold it's going to give our curl a hold and i'm using a curl sponge to make sure we get those curls um, that that type of style that curl sponge style put in place now i know a lot of people say you know uh invest in your craft and i, I totally agree with that you know you know get what you can the best tools you can but this curl sponge right here, I got off a of wish for a dollar and it's been going hard, going strong for about uh, three years now. So this 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 curl sponge is the truth. You know, I know at Sally's they'd be selling them for like 30 bucks, but this is doing work for me. So um, just be cautious on, you know, what you're spending your money on. You know, I totally agree investing in your craft, but make sure you're investing in the right area and not being taken advantage in another area. But there's the haircut nothing too difficult nothing too crazy um, i hope that you could add more knowledge to your arsenal i hope that you add another skill to your arsenal and we're just going to finish the cut with some oil sheen um, but i appreciate everybody for clicking on this video that's the haircut if you're not following me on instagram follow me at jblends underscore uh, subscribe hit that subscribe button right now smash that like button let's get some more exposure for this channel and uh, once again i appreciate everybody for watching this video and until next time peace